Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. My name is Vineet and in today's video, I'm going to talk about two most critical steps during a Linux installation on a dual boot mode. Now, for those of you who do not know what a dual boot mode is, it is a very popular technique to install multiple operating system on a single computer. For example, you can have your Windows operating system on C drive and your Linux operating system on any other partition of your hard disk. This way you can boot to different operating system during the start of your computer. You can have a bootloader, which is like a small program that runs during the start of your computer. And it contains list of all the operating system installed on your hard disk now you can select which OS you want your computer to boot to and then you depending on your choice your computer will boot to that operating system but with that said dual boot installation is a little trickier than the standard Linux installation and in this video we're going to talk about two most important step during a Linux installation one is the partitioning scheme what is the correct way to partition your hard disk and the other is the bootloader which is very very important if you do not take care of this little program your computer may not start at all or you may end up corrupting your previous installation so in this video we are also going to look how we can retain our original windows bootloader instead of installing linux bootloader like grub and add an entry of our newly installed Linux OS on the Windows bootloader so that in future if we decide to get rid of our Linux partition, uninstall it, we do not end up corrupting our bootloaders or our previous Windows installation. Alright, so with that said, let's begin today's video. Alright, so here I am on a Windows 8 machine installed on VMware. As you can see, I have three partition on the C drive. I have my Windows 8 installed and I have two empty partition D and F of sizes 14.6 GB and 16 GB respectively. Now let's install Ubuntu on D drive. I'm going to start Ubuntu installation and fast forward the video and come back at the disk partitioning step. Alright. Now let's click on try Ubuntu. Now at the installation type window, choose the last option, which says something else and click continue. All right. So now we are at the disk partitioning window here. We choose the partition where we want to install our Linux operating system. Now, as you can see under slash dev slash SDA, we have four partition. First is the SDA one partition, which is of 370, 367 MB of size. Now this contains our windows eight bootloader. So we do not want to mess up with this partition. Next is the SDA two partition. Here we have our windows eight operating system installed. Now then we have the SDA3 and SDA5 partition, which actually is the D and at the F drive respectively. So we want to install Linux on the D drive, which is SDA3. So click on SDA3 and then click on change. Now the first option is to resize the partition. If you want to do that, you can do it from here. We do not want to do that. So let's move on. Next is the use as option. Now here we select the file system for our partition. Now the current file system is the extended for journaling file system. So we choose that and then we click on the format, the partition checkbox and then for the mount point, choose backslash, which is the mount point for your root file system. Now Linux also provide the option for storing your different folders like your user account, your temporary folders in different partition or in different drives. Now this is important, particularly for large businesses where they want to keep these information in different partition or different drives so that in future, in case of any drive getting uh, corrupted or getting damaged, it does not take down their entire system. But for a normal home user, just select backslash for the root folder and click OK. 
Now next is the device for bootloader installation. This is very, very important. By default, it points to slash dev slash SDA, which is where your master boot record resides. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you the technique to retain your Windows 8 bootloader and boot to Linux operating system using Windows 8 bootloader. So for that, we do not want to install Linux bootloader on slash dev slash SDA because in future if we decide to get rid of Linux installation this will end up corrupting our master boot record and our system will not boot up in so it is very important in the option select the device where we are installing our Linux which is under slash dev slash sda3 so click on that and then click install now now you get a warning telling you that you have not created a partition for swap space. Now swap space is required for a computer which has very low physical memory uh, that is RAM like 512 megabits of RAM or lower. Now uh, the swap space is used by the operating system as a substitute for your low physical memory so that in future when you are running your computer and your physical memory gets full the swap space partition is used and your computer runs smoothly and does not freezes or does not bog down all right so we do not have to worry about that so let's click continue all right so now the installation will continue let me fast forward the video and i'll come back at the end of the installation all right so now we have reached the end of the installation now do not click on restart now click on continue testing very very important because we are going to run few commands in here and open up terminal type in sudo su super user all right so what we are going to do here is we are going to copy the linux bootloader to the c drive which is required when we go to Linux and add the Linux option to the Windows bootloader. So to do that, type in mkdir, make a directory, slash mnt, mount slash share, and press enter. And now mount our C drive, which is slash dev slash sda2 on the mount share directory, slash mount slash share. All right, next is to copy the Linux bootloader to the C drive. So to do that, type in DD, give a space, input file is slash dev slash sda3. This is where we have installed Linux and the output to slash mnt slash share, which is our C drive and give the file name Ubuntu dot bin the byte size of the grub bootloader is 512 bytes so we type in 512 and count equals to 1 all right so type in this command and press enter it says it has copied 512 bytes so press exit and close the terminal and restart your computer So now I'm in Windows 8. Let me log in here. Now the final step is to add the Ubuntu option to your Windows 8 bootloader. To do that, open up command prompt as administrator. So choose run as administrator. Now to add the option of our Linux installation on the Windows 8 bootloader, we are going to use the tool bcd edit. So type in bcd edit, give a space, type in slash create space slash d and the name that we want to give, type in ubuntu and slash application is boot sector. Press enter. Now it has created this unique ID for our Ubuntu operating system. So we are going to just select all, control C and paste it to a text document. So let me create a text document and paste it here. Now copy this ID E59. go 
back to the command prompt now type in bcd edit give a space type in slash set and then give the id and then type in device space partition let me maximize the command prompt partition equals to c colon all right now press enter next type in bcd edit give a space slash set give a space paste the id give the path to slash ubuntu dot bin so this is the file that we created when we finished our linux installation so do remember to type the file name correct if you have used the capital letter make sure that you type the file name correctly so now press enter it says operation successful wonderful again type in bcd edit give a space slash display order give the id and then slash add last press enter and then next is the timeout so type in bcd edit slash timeout give it to 30 seconds will suffice give it to 30 seconds now press enter now that's all that is required to be done now close the command prompt and now when we restart our computer we should see ubuntu as an option in the windows 8 bootloader so close this file out save that and let me restart the computer the computer is restarting now we should see the windows 8 bootloader showing the ubuntu option this time Alright great so as you can see now we have Ubuntu option in our Windows 8 bootloader so now if you want to go to your Ubuntu installation just click on Ubuntu and that should boot up to Ubuntu operating system. So here we are on the grub bootloader just press enter and this should take us to Ubuntu. Alright so as you can see it has booted to our Ubuntu installation let me type in the password. Alright, so as you can see, we have successfully logged into Ubuntu machine. Let me go back to Windows 8 and show you how if in future you decide to get rid of Linux, you can simply format the partition and that will not break the bootloader or corrupt your Windows 8 installation. Alright, so let me restart the computer. Alright, so now I am in the Windows 8 machine. Now to get rid of your Linux installation, first open up disk management, search, type in disk management and choose create and format hard disk partition. Now it opens up disk management. Now here as you can see we have the F drive and the C drive. Now this is the partition where we have installed Linux. So all you have to do is right click on this and choose delete volume. Click yes. And now it says unallocated. Now right click, click on new simple volume so that Windows 8 recognize this. Click on next and just click on finish. Click on format disk and as you can see a new volume D has been created if we go back to a Windows Explorer and go to computer you will see that we have got our D partition back now to remove the option from the Windows 8 bootloader open up the command prompt as administrator so right click and choose run as administrator and type in bcd edit give a space type in delete 
give a space and then give the ID that we have saved here so which is e59 blah blah just copy this out and paste it here and press enter now the operation is successful now if we restart the computer we will no longer see the Ubuntu uh, option just click restart alright so the computer is restarting and this time around we should not see the Ubuntu option as we have deleted the partition where we installed Linux and also we have deleted the option from the Windows 8 bootloader so it should directly go to Windows 8 without throwing up any options to select alright so great as you can see it has taken us directly to Windows 8 without giving us any option so this is how you should partition your disk while doing a dual boot installation of Linux and how you can add a Linux option onto a Windows 8 bootloader. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you want me to post such videos in future, kindly subscribe to my channel. If you have any comment or suggestion, please type that in, in the comment box. Thank you again and I'll see you next time.